What is up bras and welcome back and in this video we are going to be bringing you a game changer. Now 100% credit for this find goes to the professionals of Pro League and to the best of my understanding it was actually Fabian of Team Penta that kind of perfected this technique down here on bank and what this is going to do is we're going to be shooting out the drywall in between the support beams. And so that way, they're actually not going to have a place to place the thermite charge. Now, there are so many different benefits to this technique. First of all, even if you don't do it perfect and you accidentally leave a little chunk of drywall and they are able to place it, if a thermite just walks up to this wall with this big of an opening and it takes them a couple extra seconds, that's all it's going to need in order for the defending team to pick him off because he's going to be sitting here in front of a holy wall so this is exactly what it's going to look like there's going to be people anchoring down all over the cctv room and even back in the other objectives and a lot of people have in really intricate mirror setups and this is exactly what it looks like even if i was able to find a chunk right now it would be way too late my head would be gone and so this new technique is really insane and i definitely wanted to share it with you bras because I wanna know if you guys can think of any other cool places where we could use this thermite counter. Now, there are gonna be a couple ways for the attacking team to counter this thermite counter. At the end of this game, we are gonna be posting the clip of Penta using this versus Ents, and it throws them off and it basically tunnels them into the doorway. And of course, we're gonna hear the one and only badass Kickstar kind of give his thoughts on this and talk about how it kind of has been around for a little bit but it kind of sounds like penta has kind of perfected this one down here on bank this is also going to work on the second server room wall it's going to be the same thing because you're just shooting out the drywall and leaving just the support beams and so one of the first counters to this is if you have an ash that's still alive towards the end of the round it's not reinforced so you will be able to shoot the support beams with your ash charge now that will blow up the surrounding area so that is one thing to keep in mind you're not actually reinforcing this but overall the majority of the time this is going to get opened up anyways and so a couple really good benefits right off the bat is you're saving a utility so you can save those reinforcements and put it somewhere else the second thing is that it's ton filled the wall is filled with holes and so with your mira smoke nitro cells they're going to be susceptible just approaching it and if you get wind that someone's even just approaching it you will be able to do massive damage through the holes and if it just delays them a couple seconds most of the time that's all you're going to need the second counter to this thermite counter is going to be sledge sledge is still going to be able to hit tiny little sections of the drywall and also the support beams so that is another thing to keep in mind but like you guys are going to see in the clip Ash was on the other side of the objective rooms and so he wasn't actually able to help them out and so the final couple players of Ents were funneled in through the door and that was all she wrote. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. I love you guys all. See you guys all very soon in the next video. Peace. Now again, Penta is known for the latter half of the match so we'll see what happens. A slow starters in a team that finds its footing later on. And now they go to defense and see, they're going to go downstairs, so nothing... You're having Ying falling out of the meta. Do you really need a Jaeger as much? But you got Buck and Sledge that have been played in right. an and there's, awful lot. There's two sets of nades as well in this case on Ence's lineup. So, you know, the Jaegers can help you out a lot in denying those kills, but... They'll hit at that barbed wire. And now Goga could push up and get a really good opportunity on White Stairs. He will be spotted by Panari, and Panari wins that gunfight quite easily, though. He does sustain some significant damage. The smoke will go up. They find the Valk Cam. But only 30 seconds. They'll need to try to open that up. That's wow. a great strategy from Penta, denying them the opportunity to open that. That is cheeky and will funnel them through an area that I have no doubt is packed with lesion traps. Is it up? And can we talk for a second about that strategy on the wall? I mean, we've seen that a couple times, but rarely have we seen those holes made so structured, perfectly crisply structured where there's no question that of course they are going to deny a thermite the potential to plant the charge that was obviously a calculated move by penta and they actually took their time 
to figure out exactly how to rightly set up that wall. But clearly Penta actually went into a custom map and practiced opening up that wall perfectly to outright deny Thermite any potential. It was precise. Very and that's, precise. And that sort of precision helped them because they still had the opportunity to see through it. It almost, it was it was kind of like a lattice wall. So you could see, or a mm -hmm. trellised wall, you could see through those holes in it and have perfect visibility. However, at the same time, they couldn't do much other than return fire. And when you are looking at that bombsite insecurity, of course, you're often going to be shooting at somebody inside of that red hallway or in vault or the area just in front of vault or if they've got double holes all the way back into B in lockers. And that's very difficult for the attackers to make those shots. And we saw Penta take full advantage of it.